Hello, nerds and nerdettes and OPB family. It's your fellow nerd back with another guest review on behalf of Organic Price Books. Before I get into anything, a quick thank you to Organic Price Books for allowing me to do this review on their behalf. Now into the details of the book. This book does have a cover price of $125 and a page count of 1,120 pages. So it is a decently sized book with that standardized Marvel Omnibus price tag. But let's go ahead and get into the book and take a quick look at the art and talk a little bit about the story. And here we are, the long-awaited new X-Men by Grant Morrison. The Omnibus, a reprint of a lot of us, we're extremely excited for. This is the standard edition cover. The DM variant I will put up here so you guys can take a look at that. Um, both covers are done by Frank Quitely, but I just enjoyed this cover a little bit more just because of the psychedelic concept of it. Looking at the spine, we do have the same spine that I believe was on the other printings. And then on the back, we do have a cover gallery. But we can go ahead and get under the dust jacket and take a look at the beautiful wraparound cover. And taking a quick look at the wraparound cover, this is without the dust jacket. A absolutely beautiful image of Wolverine, Cyclops, and Emma Frost. Okay, and here we go right into the omnibus. We do have some deep royal blue end pages, a title page, which is fairly simplistic. And then the creator's page, everything in this book written by Grant Morrison. And then pertaining to pencilers, you are going to have a lot of talent from Frank Quitely, Lionel Francis Hugh, Ethan Van Skyver, Phil Jimenez, Chris Bocciolo, Mark Silvestri, just to name a few. And then a introduction by Mike Carey in October 2006, which I believe is the same in the other printings. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong down below. And then you open up to the first issue of the omnibus issue 114 the first time grant morrison jumps on the book obviously this cover is the same cover as the standard edition omnibus and then you get some promotional art and then one of the most badass openings to a comic book ever cyclops and wolverine doing what they do best now as far as the story of the omnibus goes it is fairly episodic in nature, kind of jumping from storyline to storyline involving different characters of the X-Men and really kind of fleshing out a decent amount of the X-Men's roster as well. You do have some fairly big developments pertaining to the characters of Charles Xavier as well as Magneto, just to name two. Um, some developments even pertaining to Charles Xavier's family tree, which I think is a very interesting concept and storyline to explore and kind of see um, evolve as you read. This is also going to be the run where you are going to see the first secondary mutation take place happening to the character of Emma Frost. And I think that is also very significant to X-Men lore and kind of what continues to happen as X-Men go along. You are also going to see a massive change in the mutant population and kind of the tone that mutants have in in the Marvel Universe in general in a way, which obviously I'm not going to give away how exactly that happens, but it does happen in a fairly traumatic way as you would come to expect in any X-Men comic book. Um, looking at you, House of M, even though this was obviously taking place before that. Now, this book is a fairly new reader friendly omnibus because this is a new era and kind of a new status quo for the characters in on the X-Men team and the team of the X-Men in general, which I think makes it a fairly decent jumping on point, even though it is issue 114 and not necessarily a new number one, but still it picks up not really where it left off, just kind of continuing in it at its own pace into its own stories and really just delving into its own material in general. And Grant Morrison does a great job introducing us to new badass and cool characters from Phantom X to Zorn to also kind of putting us down a rabbit hole of sorts 
kind of seeing the darker and not so great sides to some of the X-Men characters as well, which I think is always kind of great to see in general, especially for me, I am a sucker for flawed characters, and you do get a lot of that throughout this book. A lot of fan favorite characters doing not so great things, looking at you, Emma Frost and Cyclops, um, but also pertaining to those characters, you do have a decent amount of drama taking place as well for my drama lovers. You do have a love triangle taking place, and it is pretty odd, not gonna lie, um, but still entertaining to say the least. Art is absolutely amazing. The only art that I could possibly see someone potentially having somewhat of an issue with would be obviously Frank Quitely. I do know he's fairly divisive in the community, mainly because of his somewhat cartoony style. I happen to love his art style personally, but I do know some people he can be fairly hit or miss with. Um, as far as the storytelling and the writing done by Grant Morrison, they absolutely knock it out of the park. Um, no point do I feel like they tell a story that feels bit hard to read or a drag to read or the story or tone or pace of the story bogs down. It's very enjoyable from beginning to end. I do feel like the beginning of the omnibus does perform a little bit better than the later half, personally. But all in all, the entire omnibus is awesome. I've said this before, I'll say it again, this is my favorite run on X-Men, and obviously you're, because of that you're going to hear not really much negative from me as a reader just because I absolutely love this run and the writing by Grant Morrison and the different art styles you get throughout the book. But all in all, I highly implore you to check it out yourself and give it a read, come up with your own thoughts and opinions on it. But we are going to skip the later half to avoid some potential spoilers and take a quick look at some of the extras, which we can get to right about here. Um, so obviously we do have kind of your standard um, script writing for a lot of the issues by Grant Morrison. And then you also will have a decent amount of sketches. This is actually fairly cool, seeing the script side by side with some of the panels. And then obviously you get sketches as I was kind of leading to. Um, and then in the back, you do get some covers for Wizard, some variant covers, and that is that. So we can head back to the table and talk a little bit about my closing thoughts. Hello and welcome back. So full transparency before we continue, this is my favorite X-Men run, only really rivaled by Astonishing X-Men by Joss Whedon. This is the run by Grant Morrison, where you really see a lot of the X-Men cast very much humanized, good or bad. You get to see a lot of characteristics fleshed out throughout the X-Men members. This is also going to be the run where you're going to see the first appearance of Zorn, as well as the badass Phantom X that I know a lot of people are fans of. This is also going to be kind of the introduction or the first time that we as readers kind of see the secondary mutation for mutant characters. First, initially seeing it in Emma Frost with her diamond form. So you are going to be seeing the first appearance as that or of that. So obviously, as you can tell, this is going to be full of a lot of big first. The writer, creator, Grant Morrison absolutely knocks it out of the park, humanizing these characters, even to the point not even putting them in the costumes that we know and love and much more of a modernized streetwear style of look. One thing to keep in mind when going into this book is this was written in the early 2000s, so you are going to have some of that early 2000s edge. Um, I know that can come across as a little cringe to some people. I happen to absolutely love it. It's very nostalgic to me as a reader, but this is definitely top-notch X-Men for me personally. I think the twists and turns, especially during the later half of this omnibus, 
very much catch you off guard and is not something that you're expecting at all, um, especially some of the more shocking scenes. But man, did I enjoy it. And you know if you want to pick up this omnibus, where to go, which is Organic Price Books. Use code Stay Nerdy. Uh, you didn't hear me say that. But other than that, I truly appreciate you guys tuning in, you guys watching, um, taking part in my guest review on my favorite X-Men run. And of course, as always, stay nerdy.